What is the what? Toba. Uh huh. That is due for pride and arrogance. If you know it is pride and arrogance, if you know how, why you do it, and you're looking at it properly, where it's coming from, where it's going to, you understand all of that. Let's say pride or arrogance is a fire that burns. You understand where it burns, how far it went. You understand the hurt. And you understand how you ignite it. If you feel the burn, not just to understand, you feel the hurt that you've given. Then that time you'll understand. Tawbah Allah, forgiving so easily, His beloved ones forgiving so easily, it is not about the tawbah, it is about you understanding. If you don't understand, you make it again. They will forgive again. You make every day, they will forgive. It is not about their forgiveness. Don't be American to say, you mad at me? I'm sorry. Didn't I say I'm sorry? No. It is not about that. Of course they are going to forgive you. But as a believer, we have to know where did we hurt? We have to know why we're doing it. If you don't understand this, then always you're going to think that you're doing it for some reason. And always you're just going to ask for a way out of it. Do you understand? So, how are we going to learn this? If you're not going to learn easy way, you're going to learn the hard way. These are Shaykh and his words, right? But the important thing is for you to learn now. For you and for me to learn. Things that you do between you and Allah, that's different. You're committing so many wrong things between you and Allah. You're not taking anyone's rights. Shaykh Hani is saying, if Allah wants to forgive, very easy He's going to forgive. But if you take away others' rights now, it's not going to be so easy. That's why I'm saying on a night like this, everyone is asking Allah for forgiveness. Yes, we must ask Allah for forgiveness. But what wrong have we done? And what wrong are we doing to others? Are we understanding what wrong we're doing to other people? Are we understanding that so much zoom is happening in this world and we're just sitting and we cannot do anything? Isn't that enough for us to say, Astaghfirullah? Whatever risk that we have in front of us, isn't that enough for us to say, Astaghfirullah? Isn't it enough for us to say, Astaghfirullah, Ya Rabbi? We're not even asking for Hilafat. So you take others' rights. Once you understand why, how you take away their rights and how it is harming you, not them, it is harming you. So what's your next step? If you are understanding that and you know what your responsibilities are, what do you do? You continue your responsibility. Whether that one is smiling at you or not, it doesn't matter. You continue your responsibility.
So, again, we must come out from this. We're stuck here in this kind of culture. To say, are you still mad at me? Or don't be mad at me. Smile, and then I'm going to be okay. No. You know you mess up, you try to clean up, you continue. So, because believe me, if you think that is punishment, you don't know what it is. It's not punishment. If it's punishment, you won't even be able to breathe. The important things for us to know and to learn. If you still haven't learned the lesson yet, then there will be other lessons down the road where it's going to be harder. If you know the lesson, then it's good. It will save you. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.